Kamala. Hello. Hi. Hey there. Oh, hi, you're both together. It came as she crisscrossed the country, four states in four days, awaiting a decision from the former president and first lady. We called to say Michelle and I couldn't be prouder to endorse you and to do everything we can to get you through this election and, and into the Oval Office. Michelle Obama quashing months of speculation that she could be a candidate herself by giving Kamala Harris her seal of approval. I can't have this phone call without saying to my girl Kamala, I am proud of you. This is going to be historic. Oh my goodness. Michelle Brock, this means so much to me. The vice president is carving her own path, a distinct change in tone on the war in Gaza, following a meeting with Israel's prime minister. We cannot look away in the face of these tragedies. We cannot allow ourselves to become numb to the suffering, and I will not be silent. The greatest dinner I've ever had. Mar-a-Lago in Florida, more comfortable territory for Benjamin Netanyahu and his wife. Donald Trump's approach, very different to that of Kamala Harris. I think her mar remarks were disrespectful. They weren't very nice, pertaining to Israel. I actually don't know how a person who's Jewish can vote for her, but uh, that's up to them. The Harris campaign is now publicly acknowledging that the vetting of potential running mates is underway while the Trump campaign appears to be rethinking its offer of an anytime, any place debate, now refusing to confirm until the Democrats have formally ratified their new nominee. There's a broad coalition forming around her, a record 164,000 taking part in a Zoom call for Kamala Harris. Um, and she is coming in with another $50,000 match. So White women raising $8.5 million dollars from one, one call, echoing the support of black women who've been leading the charge. The endorsement of the Obamas now adding to the momentum. Thank you both. It means so much. And, um, and we're going to have some fun with this too, aren't we? Neck and neck with Donald Trump in the polls, Joe Biden's exit a game changer. The race for the White House is on. David Blevins, Sky News in Washington.